Let's start the prologue, shall we? Event quest. Prologue. Damn, we loading hard? What the hell's going on here? Oh, alert systems are turned off at the moment. Oh, nice! We haven't been to this in a while. <clears throat> cool. I've got Snake Eyes, a.k.a. two solos. So, yeah, it means Snake Eyes. Uh, in Japanese, it's called Pinzoro. Pinzoro means that um, two dots on the board. Right? A.k.a. Snake Eyes. Then I shall buy this property, and since I've got the snake eyes, I will be rolling my dice once more. <laughs> Spending your time like this isn't too bad, right? Uh, yeah, every so often, do don't you think? Having a whiskey and having a little, oh uh, yeah, having a whiskey in your cup, and secretly having. A hidden room that nobody knows and play board games and, and relax. This is what it means to spend a life of a day of a relaxed, uh, a man, an adult that is relaxing. Oh, so you got two options that's kind of still thanking, right? Still thanking him, saying that um, the fact that thank you so much for... Oh, yeah, thank you for your gracious offer to inviting me to your adult's day off. Uh, or you got the second option that says, um, you're right. When I get to an adult, maybe I should copy it. <laughs> uh, it says, of course, of course. Uh, even though we can't technically pull this off because you'll we'll get in trouble because they'll find out but I highly recommend uh, a data uh, analog record and have his favorite song playing that is I've heard been recently coming back to trend not just replaying it through data memory I've heard, yeah, I've heard the sound is a bit different, parentheses, he thinks, right? So, Godorov is saying that um, uh, analog record, like vinyl record, or, you know, like, listening to it analog style, um, it's, the trend's coming back, the sound and the feelings of this music is a little different, the vibe is different, he thinks, the parentheses is... He thinks, right? So he's just kind of saying it as a suggestion, but at the same time, he thinks that's the case. With that feeling, until now, I have been spending my adult times like this. However, I've started to gone bored of it being looped. Over and over, you see. Like a dandy gentleman, pouring a g I am pouring ice to the glass and making its majestical sound and playing out and posing to keep it fresh and dandy. And even I've smirk. I've uh, it says, yeah. However, there is no familiars, nor homunculus, nor staff members of Karudea to be found in this room. In life, I, in life, everybody needs somebody to talk to every once in a while. And at the same time, it is, uh, yeah, it is the director's job. Ah, uh, yeah, it is a director's job at a time to be 
uh yeah to be more um uh yeah be more interactive with their employees and underlings that are not fully ready to be out in the world and at the same time of course praise them for their daily activities so with that being said enjoy yourself relax have fun if you're ever hungry do let me know i'll whip up something nice my on the house Uh, it says, putting protagonist aside, I don't know if I'm doing my job at all, though. However, I'm not in a position where I can say no to a new director inviting me to this wonderful, uh, yeah, wonderful venue so kindfully. <laughs> Damn it. Is this where you have protagonist's property? Your taxation hurts, you know. I says, is Caddock gonna be bankruptcy first? I says, by the way, I didn't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't know such place like this existed in the first place. It's kind of surprising. Hmm. I sincerely agree with Protag. I looked through the ship's uh, interior, but this wasn't never written in the schematics at all. Uh, <laughs> it's, you see, I've just found it on accident. I saw an opening in uh, the facility. Yes, a uh, guni, uh, yeah, guru any. A uh, guru, any aka a back room, right? A back room hidden space area. Uh, says, as you can see, putting a table and a chair is barely functionable in its space. However, sometimes being so not too spacious also have their luxury. And so, using this secret, I have domained this location, my private secret base. A man's cave, specifically elected for the director. After all, there are times that every man wants to be in a location where, will, uh, where he will be not disturbed by anybody, not interrupted, having a blanket over their heads, and then crawl in a, uh, uh, be in a fetal position and be calm in a room sometimes, you know? We do? We do, Zerbus. Understand. Understand this. I know you're staying silent, but I know. And of course, as always, you are not to report this location in the current status of what we are doing to Da Vinci. Do you understand? If this most quiet and spa uh, spaceless comfortability location is to be known outside the world... I know for a damn well fact the yokai princess aka Osaka Behime that is a shut-in and a an elephant head statue's god hand they'll make this place a living room of gaming spacious area and occupy it permanently it's gonna be a matter of time that they find out just you know this Kadok. Understand that you two are going to be humanity's la- uh, mm. I suppose I shouldn't use those terminologies here. <clears throat> Due to you both being the masters of Katerdea, I have special invitations for you two. That is all. <laughs> I like how Godorov was saying you two are the last humanity on this ship. 
to know its whereabouts. So don't go say, you know, don't go spreading rumors of this place, right? And <laughs> Goldorf was like, oh, I shouldn't use, <laughs> I shouldn't use the title, The Last Humans. That's funny. Cause you know, we're, we're actually the last humans alive, right? Technically, so. <laughs> Understand that leaking this information is forbidden. The secret base is nothing but ours and ours only. Do you understand me? These are our secrets and we carry it to the grave. Dots. I, of, of course, if you want to say this is a secret and you want to keep it a secret, we'll listen to your words, but I'm not here to spread it around. However, hmm. uh, it says, oh, by the way, I just realized, Mr. Gordorov, there's one prince or Mr. King right there sitting next to us. Huh? <laughs> Wakes up. It's essentially he has his own blankie and then just kind of being comfortable and he get <laughs> fucking old baron. He's like, huh? What? I didn't know there was already a camper in this location already. Why does he have a camping gear and enjoying himself? Yeah, so he essentially had like a sleeping bag. <laughs> he was just kind of being chilling. Ah. <laughs> oh. Good morning, Mr. Goldorfer, and uh, thanks for the meal. Yesterday, I saw a delectable dish sitting out on the table there, and it was quite delicious. As expected of a director, you really do use great ingredients. Oh, um, don't worry about me. I won't bother you as long as you don't bother me. You know, mutual setup, you see. And after all, board games should be enjoyed among friends. And yeah, <laughs> that's wild. Oh, Baron is wild. It says board game should be played. Ah, uh, yeah, board game should be played with friends that you know so well and enjoy it to the fullest. After all, friendship is the biggest gunpowder you can ever have. <laughs> that's crazy. Obera just low-key saying friendship is the biggest gunpowder you can have. Oberon, would you like to play the board game with us as well? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. It seems you didn't even hear a lick of the words I was saying. See, it, it technically is explosives, right? Kibakuzai. It, it means it's a... Yeah, it, it means it's um, a powder. It's an explosive powder, right? I, I'm going to say gunpowder so you guys can understand it better, right? So it's essentially, it's, um, it's an explosive powder because that's the biggest thing, right? Gunpowder. <laughs> and, yeah, you know, because Oberon fucks around in LB6. And I like how Oberon is like... Board games should be played with friends. After all, it's the best gunpowder on planet Earth. And my my first question is, Oberon, do you want to play? And Oberon's like, oh, it seems you didn't hear a lick, a lick of word that I was saying. Uh, it says, uh, I don't mind playing with you guys. However, this game that you guys are currently playing you're playing the life type of game, right? AKA, um, you know how there's a board game called Life? And then there's like 5 million genre of the life type board game. So, uh, yeah, Oberon specifically saying that this game is like a lifetime board game, is it not?
Uh, it says, I don't mind. Uh, yeah, I don't mind witnessing human lives. After all, they're the most delectable and the most entertainment thing to watch. However, as a fairy of I, I really will not understand the circumstances or... I suppose gesture and in, in beings. Uh, thank you so much for the amazing offer, but I'm going to decline because I probably won't do good at it. And after all, if I were to barge in, we're going to have to restart the game all over, and that's going to hurt my heart. And watching from the start is not what you all want, right? I'm going to go back to my plans and go back to sleep. All right? Huh? Why, you ask? Well, of course. A prince cannot wake up. Uh, yeah, after all, a prince cannot be awakened unless a princess... Uh, a princess's magical kiss. So, with that being said, good night, y'all. <laughs> Damn, the reverse Snow White? <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna wake up until a princess wakes me up. So good night, guys. Don't fucking leave me alone. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> my goodness. That was quite surprising. Mm. I think we're still in the safe here. I believe this fairy king was not the type that would be blabbering this location to normal people around, I believe. If he wants to use this location as a, a napping port, I suppose I wouldn't mind. I, I wouldn't mind him using it. Well, let's just say we had one plus friend into our secret base. How's that, Mr. Godorov? <clears throat> I suppose we should resume the game. It is your turn. Huh? Wait. Where's the dice at? What's going on here? Hey. Huh? Hmm? Protag, what's wrong? What's that card in your hand? It seems that that is not included in the gaming material setup. Did uh, one of your employees or something insert it somewhere at hand, perhaps? No, this... What is this? It's... It's... Points for a perfect dad? What the... Uh, <laughs> and fucking Oberon. Uh... Uh? Hey, something just... Uh. Hmm. Hey, I don't know what just happened, but I, I kind of get what you're trying to say. Something is wrong. Prepare ourselves. What, what, what's happening? I... We actually got insect spaced. Holy shit. Six, six, six. Huh? A girl's voice. Wow, we actually got insect space? That's kind of cool. That's so cool! That's awesome. Ugh, shit. My consciousness, it's fading. I can't see clearly, but o Oberon! Uh, uh. Uh. Huh? W where are we? Yeah. What the hell happened to us just now? Uh, uh, uh. You two okay? No wounds? No damage? Hmm. At least physically, I have no irregularities at the moment. When it comes to mental, or my feelings, or psychologically, I don't know. I've used, uh, yeah, I used mental defense, uh, yeah, I used a dim, blah, 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 I used multiple mental defense mage, or aka magic, 
uh, on the spot and activated it a couple of times. However, new director, how about your end? Are you? Damn, did we lose him? I'm going to check for what's wrong with him, all right? You, Protag, make sure you're uh, prepared for anything. Even if he starts rambunctioning or start to loot, go berserk on us. All right, prepare yourself. Diagnost uh, yeah, diagnostic running. After all, uh, yeah, after all, getting choked by your ally is not a funny thing. Uh, yeah, getting choked by your ally that's being controlled is not a funny thing. Oh, shit. I think we're gonna have to prepare for the worst, Protag. I hope you're ready. Uh, if Beryl was here at the time, he'll probably kill him on the spot in order to create safety, uh, a, space, a safety measure in this surrounding location. No, no, I'm all right. Just to, 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 to turn, turn around. Huh? A cow? Yeah, because it says Ushi, 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 Ushi means cow, right? And um, he's stuttering, so he say, he's saying behind you, right? Technically, he's saying behind you, but he's stuttering the behind part that it sounds like a cow. So we, uh, we don't recognize the term look behind you. We recognize the term cow. It says, huh? A cow? Huh? And then uh, Kadok goes, shoo. Uh, which means a string wa uh, string rain, right? Like a light drizzle. No, no, no! I'm not talking about that. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking about a quote-unquote animal. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking about a domesticated animal, nor am I talking about the beauty... Uh, yeah, the, bu the beauty... Uh, yeah, beauty expression of explaining a drizzed water. I'm talking about behind you, behind you, both of you. Look, turn around, you two. Huh? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fucking attack on Titan here. <laughs> Fucking big ass smug. It, it's a Titan! It's essentially, it's a giant! It's a giant, much larger than the, uh, uh, much larger than the Nordic Lost Belt that we've ever encountered before. Six, 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 six. Ah! Ah! What is it trying to do? Hey, are you trying to squish us with your fingers just now? Run! S stop, stop, stop. Everybody stop! Hmm? Wait. What are you- Why are you telling us to stop? If we don't run away, we're gonna get crushed- ah! Huh? Uh, uh, what do you think of the space that you can see? Uh, it says, what kind of spatial- Yeah, what kind of spatial shutting is this? I can't see any further. It's so thick. It says, where are we? Uh, yeah, when were we transferred over to this such vast location? I don't see the end of it. Uh, if I can't go this way, then I'm going this way. Perhaps if I go that way, we'll be able to reach the edge and... Oh, oh God! It's uh, yeah, it's still a quarter. So we, yeah, we got shrunken. Um, we're all moving, right? We're moving corner to corner, right? It's just, oh God, there's another cliff. We can't escape this place. No, why? What about the other direction? If we went that, uh, yeah, the other two. Uh, if we go to the other two directions, we might find a way. I feel like no matter which direction we go to, 
I feel like there's gonna be cliffs on the end of our journey. It seems you already starting to figure out our my gimmick, don't ya? Those of you who still am lost or figured it out, I sincerely hope you turn 360 around to figure the situation you're in. I believe you'll understand where you currently are, uh, yeah, where you stand, once you take time to calm down and look around your surroundings. Huh? Calm down and look around my surroundings. No, what? Wait. We are... Wait. Isn't this place the secret hideout that we were in? Is, does that mean that we got smaller and... <laughs> uh, yeah. Master, it seems that you finally realized. Oh, however, I suppose I should change that name in circumstances to know where you stand in this current trivia. I'm sorry. I'll be changing that title from now on. It's, uh, it's much better to understand where you stand currently in this predicament, after all. Well, let me rename. Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to my bug space. Hello, Mr. Ants and Insects. How does it feel to become a size that can be uh, yeah, become a size that you can be crushed by a single press of my index finger? <laughs> Bug li Bugs Life look different. True. This is not the Disney Bugs Life we know. Hold up. Prologue, part two. Huh? You're... You must be Cosmodrop. <laughs> yes. That's right. With a mysterious tie slash fate... Uh, a yeah, mysterious tie slash fate. A new, uh, yeah, a new employee coming in as expected. That has been uprising and well, uh, yeah, well known. Uh, as a soccer of five, uh, yeah, as one of the soccer five of alter ego of affection, it's me. Very pretty, cute, Kasra drop. Yes. Uh, uh, okay. I, I I understand that. I understand, but why are you so uh, large? You're so large to the point that you're giving us a fear on a fundamental instinct uh, yeah, instinct level. Uh, it says um, that as a a life form instinctual property it is a wonderful reaction however let me explain this uh yeah, thoroughly so you'll understand it's not that i am large it's just that you all have become small a tiny size like a worthless insect that is what it means to be in my bug space or insect domain, whichever they want to translate it. Hmm. I don't know why the reasoning of this has happened in the first place. However, uh, we now confirm that it was your doing that this has happened, right? So, 
What do you want? Yeah, what do you want? What do you... What are you going to do now? Now that you have made us into a tiny size like insect. <laughs> well, and let's see. I suppose instead of explaining it, I gotta do this first. Hi, uh, your soul guy ni magiri konda kse ni. Uh, uh, it says, yeah, uh, but first I have to get rid of, yeah, I have to get rid of and shoo a insect that is a little smart that involved, him, uh, involved himself unexpectedly and hidden its presence so fast. Which, obviously, it's Oberon. Wait. How? Impossible. Are you mean to tell me that my amazing... Uh, yeah, my amazing perception skills... Magic has been... Seen through? That's crazy! <laughs> alright, alright, Oberon, calm down. You're, you're self-fucking self-proclaimed... Your, your prideful um, present concealment, a.k.a. Uh, invisible magic, has been broken. Uh, yeah, the quote-unquote... <laughs> a special fur, right? Um, oh, shit. What do you call those? Autumn forest leaves... Uh, uh, it, it's essentially, you know, those little dangling guys in autumns, right? Like, um, they kind of dangle a bit. I can't, I don't know what it's called in English. It's a, it's an insect, obviously, right? It's an insect that kind of just dangles in the air before it turns into a butterfly. Um, but essentially he's saying that, uh, my special, uh, coat, right? My special coat that was made from the autumn's forest leaves, they've all sudden burned up. What tragedy? Uh, is it Poopa? I think it is. Yeah, yeah it might be Poopa. Yeah, it's essentially, uh, my, uh, beautiful Poopa jacket has been burned. How tragedy. And what a, uh, is it a cocoon? No, it's not a cocoon. It's, um, I think it's Poopa. I think Poopa is the right one. We'll, we'll look after it after this chapter. Is it Metapod? No, it's not Metapod. Uh, it says, yeah, what tragedy? And now I'm in trouble. <laughs> it says Oberon. He says he's, he's enjoying himself, still wearing glasses. This sly of a man. Hmm. This must be a dream. I just fell asleep. So, please. Don't mind me and continue this silly charade. I will, uh, yeah. I will mind you. Take off that glass. Uh, take off that sunglasses. You're starting to piss me off. Ah, <laughs> uh. <sighs> what a rambunctious princess you are. I suppose you look sound like someone, but you don't look like her at all. Mm. However, I can understand that you're irritated. I do. Trust me. After all, uh, this trap was so elaborate, an unexpected ob boss was able to sled in after all. I get why you're frustrated. However... The reason why I am currently here is because of the master's fault, you see? So if you're going to blame anybody, I'm going to blame the responsibility onto him. Because right when, uh, yeah, right when he was about to fell, he grabbed my shurafu, aka my sleeping bag, or, you know, my, um, essentially my little blankie, right? Essentially, before he was falling, he grabbed my blankie and hold on tight, and he essentially made me fall down with him, after all. <laughs> we fucking dragged Oberon. 
<laughs> we dragged Oberon into this mess. Oh, um, so sorry. I thought you were gonna be reliable in this. So, um... <laughs> Ah, ah, I'm not blaming you for anything at all, Master. Understand that I was just giving a situational... Un I, I was giving a situation... Uh, I was just explaining the situation at hand to this giant over there. It's not your fault that you made the right choice. But what the problem we face now is what what is standing in front of us, this fairy that's yapping. Uh, but then again, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be able to handle this like good old times that we've used to before, right? Hmm? Oh, thank you. Tonight's morning, this girl. Oh, does she have Titania? I wonder she has some sort of Titania, um... Properties. それより問題は目の前にそう見える妖精だろう。まあいつもの腐れ縁ってやつのことで手を打つさ、巻き込まれた。そんな相性の正義はしてなかったつもりですか。Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, essentially, Oberon saying that、uh, the yapping fairy right here. Uh, it says, yeah, just like rotten fate,、uh, we'll just handle it as we go, right? And then Cosmo Drop goes, he got,、uh, yeah, he got involved. Yeah, he got involved. I, yeah, I never once stopped dragging him to such a degree in such emotions of certain, but. It seems that I cannot underestimate the servant. I have to be careful. So Cosmodrop is thinking that in her head while this is all happening. Oh, okay. I have no clue what the current circumstances is going on. However, what you are saying, Ed, if you are here after all, we might be able to pull something off, right? Fairy King Oberon. Uh, you are Protag's servant, and Cosmodrop, you are part of the servant class as well. Uh, yeah, the quote unquote, the playing ground is now equalized. I heard you're not a combative type, but if it's on 1v1, we'll have some sort of resistance or be able to、uh, keep her off to an extent, right? What? What are you talking about? Fighting her head on like this? It's like trying to make me go take down a castle all by myself. Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? Godorufu, do understand this. Currently, we're in a melancholy or aka fantasy world of sorts we got dragged into. We're completely drowned in the. And binded by the said rules of the world completely. If I were to explain it in fairy terms or simpler terms, I should say we're currently in the domains of the fairies. Or, I suppose, say, some sort of spatial outside of normal realm. In human mage perspective, I think. Uh, Koyu Kekai uh, is essentially a barrier of sort. Oh、uh, shit, I forgot what it was called. Spatial barrier? No, it's not spatial barrier. Oh fuck, I forgot.、Um... Uh... Uh, yeah, it's essentially a noble phantasm that.、Um... Oh shit, I can't remember. What do you call in. Fate. What do you call in fate when you create a spatial noble phantasm? Is it reality marble? Reality marble. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. In human magic terminology, it's reality marble. Of sort. Yeah, sorry. I'm so, um. 
because I, we're because I keep forgetting that we now have two different types of um, marbles. Uh, and reality marble is such a basic terminology that I forgot about it because currently we have to um, we have to talk about and uh, essentially uh, essentially we're talking about marble phantasm right essentially there's a difference between a reality marble and a ma uh, marble phantasm because marble phantasm is the superior version because it's a permanent change versus reality marble, which is a, a temporal spatial change that creates a spatial ground that solidifies and overpaints essentially domain expansion of its own, right? So Oberon is explaining to us that in technicality, this is the fairy realm, AKA the fairy domain, or you could say it is the irregular location in human mage personality, it's called the mar um, reality marble. And from the looks of it, this world is perfected and completed. Damn. Uh, currently, none of us have no chance of winning against her. After all, we're trapped in her world. Nobody, you see. Is that right, Cosmodrop? Or perhaps... Maybe I should call you Murian. Because, yeah, yeah. So the rotten fate is the tie to Murian instead of uh, Titania. So that was my fault. Yeah, so technically he recognized Cosmodrop as Murian. Because Murian is a component of Cosmodrop. Dot, dot, dot. Mm. Fairy Murian. Yes, in technicality, as a high servant, she is part of my components. However, that is not who I am. It's quite problematic that you know who I exactly am. Please understand that friendship-wise, you are not the same. We are not the same kind, nor we are friends, okay? Oh, I see. That sounds like great to me. However, I, uh, oh uh, yeah, that sounds great. That's perfect convenient for both of us. After all, I had debt I owed to Murray, and after all. So, this is good. I have quite the debt that I have to pay in full to her. So, if you're just a Murray and lookalike servant, I don't have to owe you anything. It seems that I'm the luckiest guy on planet Earth right now. <laughs> I'm so lucky that I suppose I don't mind getting hooked up into this craziness. I don't like this guy. He's so arrogant and he's so... Uh, no yoyu. It says, yeah, I don't like him whatsoever. What is wrong with him? He's such a loof. He's like... Uh, yeah, he's still so... He's not panicky. It look, like, he's perfectly okay with this current situation. Normally, if you get shrunken, you get panicky, and... Uh, you start wailing, running, and crying. Those are the two options. What is wrong with this person? Why is he mysteriously so used to the current situation? <laughs> Fine. An unexpected Mr. Bug has... Uh, rambunctiously entered this space. However, it is a miss. A very fatal miss, in my opinion. However... Uh, yeah, it says, yeah, I will not be resetting the board in the first place. Uh, so no, yoa yoa de, uh, fuya fuya na ha, uh, hane de wa, kaisita effect mo hobo nasa so desu. Uh, with that weakly and uh, yeah, with that uh, thin and weak looking feathers you have, it seems that you might not have any effect to this location in the first place. I'm going to count you as no problem at all and continue this charade. W what are we continuing? Well, Dan, you gotta also understand Cosmodrop does not understand Oberon. Because all she knows is that she's a he's a fairy king, right? Because we kind of just blurted out loud that he's a fairy king. 
Uh, he, she also doesn't understand that Oberon's just a troll, right? And he's so used to, um, he's so used to being tiny and big, tiny and big, because remember, he has his tiny mode. <laughs> So, Cosmo drops like, why is he not panicking? Why is he not, like, you know, sweating? People should be anxious or worried or, you know, feeling something. His, um, relaxing, right? His my pace and relaxingness is pissing me off. <laughs> but with that being said, let's start explaining the real or, uh, yeah, the real, uh, real deal here. I was supposed to be in Karudia as a servant, however, I haven't fully acknowledged that you are my worthy of my master, or a worthy human to be my master, to be precise. So, <laughs> since you are, uh, yeah, since you are a ma Mr. Master, parentheses, plan, uh, for me, who is smart, cute, and weak, Kazra Chan, uh, you have to be truly a reliable and respectable and a admirable. Uh, yeah, you must be respectable, uh, yeah, respectable, reliable, and admirable um, guardian, meaning that you have to be my perfect papa. With that being said, uh, with, yeah, with that being said, hello, let the game board commence. Please start, uh, yeah, please everybody warp to the beginning zone. Can... Jesus! Ah! Warp? What do you mean by warp? I feel like we're physically being grabbed and... Getting transported there. Ah! It says, yeah, there's gr G is gravity, right? Obviously, it says it's a G that is immense enough to make a person unconscious. Jesus. Ah. So she's just like, everybody to the starting line. Yoink. And just threw us into the fucking starting line. Hello, everyone. Good work out there. We finally arrived. Please look around your surroundings. Perfect father grand pricks. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what is this? Hmm? Uh, it, it seems that we're were many sized that hasn't changed however is this an entrance of sort a gate and it's almost like a rally uh, uh of sort what kind of gate is this perhaps <laughs> that's right using my insects domain or insect space of my personal i have i i have opened up a Perf uh, yeah, a correct papa race, or aka perfect father race, race to be the perfect father. <laughs> okay. Yes. It's a death game to confirm that you are a perfect, righteous, and wonderful papa. For you all to be determined as. Uh, if you do not clear this, you will be trapped in this bug space, insect domain, for all eternity. So please do your best. Ugh. Everybody's like, Nani? <laughs> oh, Jesus. This time's insect space or bug, uh, yeah, bug domain or, uh, in, yeah, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, think of the board game, this insect space. Think of it as a, uh, entire board. 
is picturing the house interior house of a single oh okay okay so yeah think of this insect space as a location of the entirety of a single household location used as a board so meaning that cosmo drop is explaining that this whole board right that we're going to start playing is going to showcase location around the house like you know my room bathroom shower room kitchen room um study room uh office room etc etc right uh it's my uh yeah the reason why is because it's my taste and it's being mod uh, it's been modified by my own taste the trajectory or the rail that you will be uh yeah the rail that you'll be on um will be the papa race course that you will all be participating I will be playing It's as I will be the uh I will be on yeah, I will be looking from uh yeah, I'll be looking up from the table above the table, aka, you know, she's kinda observing us. I'll be observing you all from this table here and you and uh essentially observe you guys gameplay wise. If I am constantly in the background, I feel like the background is going to be feeling ominous and in, uh, yeah, terrifying. So I, uh, yeah, I will have a set. Uh, yeah, I will have a drawn set for you to feel more atmospheric when it happens. Uh, I'm saying that this is a race. However, this is only to make it so it's understandable. It's not that we're competing against other players whatsoever. So please do not mistake in this as a fastest win-win. You three, uh, yeah, you three will be a team. Yeah, you three will be a single team, and please aim to complete this entire journey. Go through each checkpoint and survive and reach to the goal. Then you win, okay? However, each checkpoint... Uh, yeah, each checkpoint as a perfect father figure we're going to have a father check aka father figure check whether you're worthy or not uh, depending on the result a point or aka uh, number will be given to you all And once, <clears throat> yeah, once the goal is accomplished, yeah, once you, re once you reach your goal, and the total goal reaches the goal line or the minimum goal required to clear, then you beat the game. Uh, once you all, uh, 皆さんを完璧なパパと認定したとき。I says once you all have been acknowledged as a perfect father figure, then I will officially uh, yeah, walk the path of helping out Karudea. Karudea, yeah, Karudea. Uh, with that being said, you will all be free from the insect space or bug domain. And you all will escape from, yeah, you all will escape from being a insect or a bug size. And you'll be able to return to normal human size. It's the gist of it. Jesus. <laughs> This concludes the explanation. You all understand it? Uh, mm -mm. Uh, I got the gist of it. 
Uh, I, um, in actuality, I have no clue what we're supposed to do. No matter what, yeah, no matter what happens, our life and death, uh, our life and death privilege is in the end grasped by Cosmodrop is, uh, yeah, Cosmodrop is what we know so far. The fact that she's given us a method to clear this ordeal, I can only say anything but progress. <laughs> That's true. That's if she's saying the real thing after all. Mm. Hey! I'm not gonna be lying anytime soon. I'm not you after all. Even though this is our first encounter. Yeah, even though this is our first encounter. I have the feeling I can say that to you. Oh my. This must be our first meeting and you felt sympathy already? <laughs> well. I don't treat lies as lies after all. Perhaps you are the type that doesn't understand your own lie, do you? <laughs> A funny little Mr. Insect you are, aren't you? Uh, korogi ってなんだった Uh, what's korogi? Korogi... Um, what's the bug that plays noise with their legs? I can't remember. What's the bug that plays noise with their legs? And it's like at nighttime, you hear them, right? Like afternoon, nighttime. Crickets, thank you, thank you. The only, uh, yeah, the only insect that should be singing their own song should be just the crickets so if you next time start yapping off some random thing i will crush you um uh i don't think i'm old enough to be considered a papa age in, in my opinion though oh uh, well in that circumstances, you really don't have to think too hard about it. That's okay. Uh, I don't want to admit this. However, as an alter ego, my roots or origin point, right? Uh, my roots and origin point uh, is particle of BB emblemed into me after all. If, uh, yeah, if... Uh, if BB is my mother, then that means... Uh, scientifically, manufacturing as I am AI is an offspring of my dearest mother, so therefore I have to constitute in the humanoid's language that the roots needs a mother and a father. It's just that I am going to figure out who is my father figure since I have my dearest mother figure already implied and implemented registry into my origin. That's all. Just think of it as what will you do? Just the simulation of if you want to become the perfect papa. How's that? And do your best, okay? Uh, um, ah, uh, in actuality. I, too, am a little too young for me to have a child, too, but that's perfectly okay. When it comes to racing, it's my specialty. We'll be clearing all the checkpoints, and you're saying that if we were able to reach the goal line, we'll be safely returned to Katadea, correct? Hmm. Then we must participate in this race at all costs. Leave it to me. I'll do the driving. So I was right. She basically has BB as her mother, and she has to. Uh, she has the rest of her sacrifice as sister, but she hates them, so she's looking for a dad. Pretty much, right? 
Um, so BB, I mean, uh, Cosmo Drop is just kind of saying, since I have a mother figure and a sister figure, and I really don't have a father figure, I'm just kind of fucking around. And because I am alter ego of affection, right? I need, uh, yeah, I need a target of affection that's a father figure. It's essentially that. All right, Cosmo Drop is like, don't think too hard about it. It's just, it's in my programming. It is what it is. <laughs> It seems that my driving technique is going to save the world again. My goodness. Um, by the way, is the machine already pre-prepped? You're saying it's a race, right? But it's not a marathon race, is it? Of course, you'll be using this. Ta-da! Oh, hell yeah, Barbie-style... Fucking Mario Kart. <laughs> Barbie style Mario Kart driving. Oh, this is hmm, a very fantasy and melancholy little, little funny looking type of car. However, hmm, uh, I suppose we can work with it. Where is a uh, gasoline? Oh, yeah, where's a gasoline or any a power source of sort? Oh, please do not worry. This is just a vehicle. Uh, this is just a vehicle that you all will be riding on while I throw the dice. A special type of car. So there will be no need for electricity or gas. Uh, in, uh, in basic functionality, it'll use everybody's magical energy and it'll convert that to its engine. Hmm? What? I guess anything goes, huh? What do you mean? However, there's a gas intake right here. What is the meaning of this? Then what's this supposed to do? Uh, uh, what? A dice? That's right. After all, this is a dice board game. Uh, this car can technically move freely. However, its limitation is on the uh, how much space it can move through that dice. Uh, it says, yeah, when a aka Sugoroku, right, aka a dice playing game. Uh, in order for you to move spaces, you're going to have to run this car, which is run by technically by the dices. So use your magical energies to make it happen. Okay. You'll be able to charge up your resource and able to, uh, yeah, able to roll your dice. No problem to move forward. So please charge your magical energy to the dice. I will move. A pro I appropriately, I, I will move appropriately to the spaces accordingly. Hmm. I suppose this is one of these things that I shouldn't think too hard about. Yep, yep. We're in a silly melon, uh, yeah, melon hen. Uh, we're in a melon hen silly fantasy shenanigans after all. Uh, anything goes is getting popular these days. Don't have to use too much. <laughs> Damn, what a jab at current reality, right? It's funny because a lot of the animes and a lot of the shit, including real world, a lot of the genre is starting to not make sense and there's no logic to it. And in a weird way, Oberon is just like, eh, who needs logic anyway these days? Fuck it. Anything goes. Apparently, that's popular. It says, I think thinking logically, uh, thinking logically should be put aside for now until we're out of here. But then again, I'm not saying don't think anything about it, okay? 
Uh, Cadoc, what is that little animal you have over there? Huh? Ah, uh, I see. Oh, it's not animal. It's uh, tiny items. Excuse me. I, I saw the item as uh, animal instead of item. Excuse me. Uh, it says, by the way, Caddock, uh, I have to ask, uh, what is that tiny items you have over here? Mm. It's a dashboard map and a pen of sort. I suppose that we're supposed to use these as a navigational tool and move forward, right? I'll let the code drivers roll be entrusted within your hands. Understood. Uh, it says, however, it's not like I cannot drive. When the time, uh, when push comes to shove, I can at least be your spare part and be your second driver. Oh, I see. Then if that's the case, that helps out. Uh, 준비 반탄 this. Uh, yeah, 준비 와, uh, 전탄, uh, 준비 반, uh, yeah, 준비 준초 this. 最初に 私の카드 와, 시스템에 나기, 도력 카드 와, 이나, 아, 레스 산카 쇼 나라 데, uh, it says everything's all prepared and set to go. Oh, by the way, the the card that I've given you for the very first time, it is um it is a record keeping card that can access straight to the system, and it is the um yeah it is uh, it is the proof of you are joining the race properly so please do not lose it okay oh that must be the chain oh uh, yeah that must be the chain actually uh that must be the chain aka our bindings to this location if i were to uh, if i noticed it earlier and snuffed it out then perhaps yeah I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't say it out loud anymore. I guess I better enjoy myself while we're here, right? So essentially, Oberon says the catalyst of all, uh, the catalyst, the catalyst for us to drop into the insect space is us touching or slash activating the card in our hand, right? So just kind of, he's saying that was the chain, right? That was the activation, uh, which was the stamp card. It says, uh, oh, well. Uh, it doesn't matter what, uh, it, it doesn't matter if I tell this now. Let's just enjoy while we can. Uh, now that everybody's heart is ready to go, everybody please get on the vehicle right away. But my heart isn't ready at all, but. Uh, yeah, it's the light, it's the, it's a normal life's nature to always suddenly grab the handle to turn or twist the way you need to, I suppose. Uh, just like the time in the Indian Lost Belt. All right, Protag and the others. Kadok, Oberon, get in. We're going to finish this silly papa race or whatever and return to Katardia uh, ASAP. Yep, in more ways than one. I suppose we have to ride this. Uh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is rare case to be in the front line with pro tag like this together again. As a meruhen, right? As a melancholic and silly thing. Thinking about this long and hard. This is quite the silly situation we've been thrown, but I'll do my very best to get this working. Well, I suppose I will in the background. After all, if a fairy king Oberon were to escape from melancholic fantasy land of crazy and silliness, it would be quite the big deal. Uh, it says, then again, this was a sudden trouble. I don't think I have enough magical energy until we get out of the forest. Eh, when the time comes, the time comes. I suppose I should experience what this race is going to be anyway. 
あ、well, we, uh, スポン、wait, それでは、スポンサードバイ。わっと、さあ、それでは、スポンサードバイ。Sponsor, oh, sponsored by, oh, yeah, yeah. With that being, let's enjoy the dice game sponsored by yours, Cosmo Drop. And let the game begin. The race of cor、uh, being the correct papa. Woohoo! Let the games begin! Yippee!